So the World War Simulator has just received a massive update. This is going to be by far the biggest battle I've ever done. It's now no longer just a browser game, it's also on Steam. Of course, there's a ton of different maps to choose from, and in each map, I can set my own civilizations. Now, before I used to go around to every continent and try my best to do, like, a true start location. If I started a nation somewhere here in Antarctica, then I would name that Antarctica. Obviously, that was kind of tedious to do. And then we'd watch as they'd all expand randomly to different territories, and we just kind of see the chaos play out. That is no longer the case with these scenarios though as we have generated a perfect world map here with all the countries in their correct locations they're ready to declare war create alliances maybe do some uh, I don't know embargoes or something every time I would do one of these battles there's always an unfair advantage for the Asian nations because there's just not a whole lot of places to start off with but now that their borders are already set I don't even know what's gonna happen I think it's gonna be a lot more even now so let's let the chaos begin as all of the nations are now spreading across the ocean remember they have to get like some sea territory too. We also have the first alliances forming Greenland with the United Kingdom, Belgium with Luxembourg, Italy with Tunisia. We also have a much clearer way to view that on the map. Here is the diplomatic map mode. I love how Luxembourg instantly got an alliance with Belgium and then Germany just took them out. We have a very realistic Germany, I guess. So there's a couple different crossing points here. One here in the Atlantic. The British can possibly also island hop from Iceland to Greenland to Canada. And there's also a passing that can be done between South America and Africa. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Liberia does up against Brazil in here. Madagascar can jump into Australia if they wish, and then New Zealand actually has to worry about two different sides now. Of course, starting things off, Russia is the biggest country on Earth, and they actually look like they're a little bit bigger. They're way out ahead of Canada. I think that's just because Canada gets smashed in this flat map, I think. Greenland, an island under technically Danish control, is actually in sixth place. Oh, there you go. Denmark joined the Greenland Alliance. Man, oh man, look at that team go. The DRC is currently fighting Zambia, and they've definitely pushed in, but now Uganda has come to the aid of Zambia. We also have Niger versus Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso's capital is like right there. They should be able to get to that pretty easily. Oh, they pieced out. Never mind. Cyprus is wiped out pretty much instantly by Turkey. We also have Colombia fighting a two-front war. They're trying to reunite Grand Colombia, and they might do that because they already have Ecuador with a little bit of help from Peru. They're getting dangerously close to the Venezuelan capital here. Oh, well, now that Guyana is going to help out, they're definitely going to collapse this nation. Denmark has been conquered by Norway. A little reverse Viking card there for you. Greenland and the UK are going to try to come to the aid of their former friend, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do that much. Also, wait a second. What happened to Canada? Canada's already dead. The U.S. instantly took out Canada, and Greenland's taking a little bit out of that. Estonia has now been forced into Nordic as Finland's taking them over. Wow, there actually might not be a Grand Colombia because Venezuela is pushing Colombia back out. Again, they're fighting a couple... Wait, who are all these nations? Oh, Puerto Rico has a bunch of islands. Well, this is a pretty powerful Puerto Rico. Argentina just ate all of Chile, so we have, like, another thick uh, tail down here in South America. Paraguay is coming pretty hard after that Brazilian capital. It is within distance. That's pretty close by. Poland, unbelievably, was somehow conquered by Czechia, I think with the help of Belarus. Greenland has switched out Denmark for Germany. I would say that is a better friend to have. Also, they're ganging up on Iceland down here. Iceland has pretty much no power left. They're, they're gonna collapse. And they're dead. The Belgians got their revenge on Netherlands and they're actually now going in after Germany, but they're having to fight a two-front war because this is a pretty big alliance they have going on here. Wait a second. Revolts can happen? A revolt happened in Senegal and Gambia was formed? I, I didn't know that was a thing. Myanmar has now conquered Laos. Oh wait, no, the other way around, Laos conquered, conquered Myanmar. Look at how powerful Indonesia looks. See, another thing I like about this World War simulator, the island nations have a much better chance of doing pretty good here. All right, the U.S. is starting to go a little bit crazy. They were at war with Mexico, but they pieced out. They also did get rid of Cuba. The continent of Europe is just looking insanely messy. We're not even going to be able to recognize it pretty soon. Oh, the Philippines actually conquered Taiwan. The problem is now the Indonesians are coming after them. And the Indonesians actually have some friends too in Southeast Asia. Oh no, Turkey conquered Greece with the help of... Of Bulgaria. That's gonna cause a little bit of rage. Interesting to see the nations that still don't have any friends. Brazil has no friends. Oh, the U.S. has no friends either. Either it's Russia or China. I guess the bigger you are, the less likely you are to form an alliance. When you're small, you kind of have to get a little team going. France has conquered the British. Okay, so what is Greenland gonna do now? Oh, Ireland is reforming the Celtic Empire, I think. Greenland now just has Germany, but Germany's facing some troubles here in the middle of Europe. Now Ireland is going after Greenland. Turkey's trying to reform the Ottoman Empire, it looks like, as they go after Albania and Kosovo. Russia 
Josh is scaring me a little bit. What are you guys doing? There's a whole lot of nothing over here. They are gaining a lot of strength, though. That is scary. I don't even know what that means. I just see numbers go up, and I'm like, whoa. India trying to reunite a uh, Hindustan, possibly. They're going after Bangladesh, and they're going to get... Oh, they peaced out with both of them, so we'll see. There's also... Oh, here we go. So China was an, had an alliance with Mongolia, and they're now fighting Russia. Mongolia is gone. Issue is that Taiwan is actually taking back a lot of Chinese mainland. How did they do that? North Korea, sadly, has no friends. South Korea, though, has at least Australia. It's a random one, but okay. Look at this thing forming out of Southeast Asia with uh, Indonesia and Vietnam really getting a lot of territory. Whoa, what happened to Brazil? Also, a Cameroon revolt happened, and now Chad is here. I love that Chad is here. Always nice to be graced with them. Uh, I am very confused. Did everyone declare war in Brazil? Is that what happened? So we have a really weird-looking Paraguay. They are allied to Argentina, so maybe that's how they were able to do it. Oh, there's like a bunch of alliances. I think they just all like called a coalition against Brazil. Also, look at Sierra Leone take control over a lot of the Atlantic. They even have parts of South America on their side. Someone's gonna need to stop the USA, though. They're looking really powerful, although not as powerful as Russia right now. Oh, you know what? Russia might be losing a lot of their strength. They're not that far down. Never mind. They're, they're, do they're doing okay. This map is just absolutely gorgeous. I love that mountain ranges are accounted for. Do not sleep on the DRC. They still have a lot of enemies to take care of. There's... Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna see if they can overcome this. They are pushing in. Wow, how are all three of these guys in a team? There's some sort of uh, Botswana alliance that went down. Oh, literally all of South Africa has teamed up. Maybe because they're afraid of the DRC. This is literally almost a continental war. Even Madagascar is involved in it. They did just peace out. Wait, is this a revolt? Did Angola pop out of them? Well, the Italians reformed the Roman Empire. They have a long way to go, but they did take out Austria. There must have been a quick war between Spain and Portugal, but they peaced out fast. India joined the Pakistan alliance. Also, why did your color change? Were you always yellow like that? There, there's literally a South Asian alliance going on with Afghanistan involved too. A revolt in Sweden formed a very tiny Nor- wait, wait, what? Norway's here. It's just really small. It's so- Sweden is doing their whole great northern empire, I think, again. Well, they have to worry about Finland, I think. Just as I said something, Portugal now randomly conquered Spain. They have control over the Iberian Union now. They're also going after Morocco for a second there. Mexico's trying to stay alive. They're trying to move into Central America, gain a little bit more power power, but I'm not sure if that's going to save them against the U.S. The U.S. actually needs to probably start fighting Portugal here soon. Egypt and Turkey now with an alliance. That is their only friend for now. Ooh, Russia is trying to reform the Iron Curtain with help from Romania, Ukraine, and Belarus. Germany somehow still alive. France has gotten rid of Belgium. Iran and Kazakhstan teaming up against Afghanistan and Pakistan. Stand wars have begun. India has not uh, decided to join in yet, though. Ooh, there goes Taiwan. So China now has gotten their island, the one that they've always wanted. They're also allied to Japan. Japan. What is going on there? South Korea actually has a holding on Japan. They lost one of their islands. What is this? South Korea is now allied to North Korea. Truly the most cursed world I've ever seen. Portugal just conquered Morocco. Wow, so Portugal is not to be messed with. They probably need to get an alliance with France, though. Or actually, they just need to get a friend in general. They have none. <gasps> no, the fall of the DRC. Now, everyone nearby has gotten a lot. Also, is this alliance still up? Yes. So South Africa still has some sort of union going on. We also have France from France. French Guyana take most of modern day Brazil. Argentina looks pretty threatening, but this is crazy. How is France supposed to protect this territory? Uh, Mexico is gone. We actually have a very big Honduras. I can't believe Greenland is still alive, and they actually have uh, parts of Scotland. Libya now moving in after Turkey and Egypt, but they do need to worry about this crossing here. Australia has been very quiet. They might have tried to make a move into New Zealand, but that was not successful. China has taken out the Koreas, and they're still cool with Japan for now. Look at this big, scary India. And they need to be scary because they are about to face China. They were like luckily walled off by the Himalayas, but now the battle and the front lines will begin. A lot of these South American powers trying to push France out from Brazil. We also have Senegal trying to take out uh, Guy Guyana. Sweden and Finland are now friends. Whoa! Okay, Russia almost got conquered, but they luckily had their friends come. Ukraine came to help. That sounds weird to say out loud. Kazakhstan pushed deep into Russia, but again, Russia using their manpower probably is like, you know, human meat shields. They're doing their typical strategy. Maybe the winter helped out. Uzbekistan popped out of Kazakhstan. A revolt happened in France. Now the UK is back, but it's it's a tiny little city-state. It probably will not survive. France is cool with... Whoa! Now Spain is back too. France was cool with Portugal and the Irish. It's gonna call them the Celts because they looked just like them for a second there. It looks like China probably is the number one nation. No, the US is technically the biggest on Earth. They barely have Russia beat, just in terms of land area. Russia still is the number one economy with the most gold, though. Oh, we have a little nation to... I didn't even realize this until right now. There's 60 nations left. We started with like, what, a hundred and something. There goes the collapse of Iran. That was a huge loss. That was, I think, Kazakhstan's friend too. Now Kazakhstan has to face Turkey. Turkey does 
doesn't have their ally Egypt here though. Libya looking really big. All depends on what the US does. The US though is in a tough spot because for some reason they allied to Honduras, which might have been a bad idea. They can still maybe island hop in the Caribbean or try to move through the Atlantic or Greenland. Problem is Greenland is a force to be reckoned with. Look at this, Europe as the French are huge. They're trying to take out the British once again. The Italians, oh my goodness, the Italians were pushing, but now they're gonna lose everything. And it wasn't even close. Look at how much gold they had too. Whoa, wait, it is a peninsula. It might be a little bit difficult. Here comes a little bit of a comeback. They also have Libya for help. Is this, who is this? Oh, that's Libya too in Greece. Okay, so the Italians will survive for now. A lot of fighting happening in Europe. France was doing good, but then Brazil popped out of them. Also very tiny Switzerland has reappeared. So there's people that are reappearing, but the revolts are a lot smaller, which I like. I like that they're not like completely empire breaking anymore. Always got to watch Indonesia. They have a lot of uh, sea tiles in their control. Of course, Argentina now going back after a newly independent Brazil. Look at the friends that Australia has. They're friends with Indonesia and is this Madagascar? Madagascar and Tanzania. I think they're just going for a diplomatic victory here. Oh man, is Finland going to be the collapse of Russia? Whoa, why is Finland moving so fast? Okay, finally the Russians have gotten to the front lines, but this is a huge Finland now. They might be a little bit too powerful. They might want to switch sides. They're saving Sweden for now against Greenland. We'll see if someone can finally take out Greenland. Oh, Finland might have got too big for their own sake. They might have to face Turkey now. Turkey and Russia were friends. The Italians have finally collapsed. France on their Napoleonic wartime thing, I think. They're having flashbacks or something. Iraq was dangerously close to taking out Saudi Arabia, but they're facing three foes at the very same time. Oh, we have a secret Jerusalem down here. China friends with Japan, Papua New Guinea, and then for some reason Turkmenistan. Okay. Again, the South American nations trying to kick France out, but they just can't do it. There's less South American nations, so it's really just Peru and Argentina. Oh, they're all teaming up together. Maybe you'll have a chance now. Somehow Honduras still holds down the fort in Central America. The U.S. have decided to uh, what's that called? Uh, be loyal in that alliance. Oh, Italy is back after the collapse of France. This is straight up the Ottoman Empire that's growing. They're, they're getting huge again. Not as huge as Finland, though. Wait, who? Wait, who are you? I don't even know the, who this is. Mexico has reappeared on the island of Cuba. At least on the western island of Cuba. Probably won't survive, but I still wanted to talk about it. Finland has a couple of people that have revolted, but they've overall been pretty tiny. Slovakia, Czechia, and Italy. The U.S. has managed to actually avoid Honduras and make it down here through Colombian territory. They might start attacking possibly Peru. Peru who's still friends with Argentina. They, uh, they're uh, they not going to be happy with Brazil popping up again in France. Oh man, look at Senegal go. Taking out almost Portugal. Portugal who still somehow survives. There's Iran who I don't even know how they're alive. I guess it helps that they have this mountain range protecting them from Iraq. Finally, the great India-China war. It is about time. The problem is this might have happened before. Yes, it did happen before. Whoa. They were not expecting that attack from Indonesia though. Now if the Russians attack from the north, they might be able to do a little bit of damage. This is looking like the Qing dynasty. China's looking really thick again. And now South Korea has popped out. The U.S. is technically number one right now on Earth, but they still aren't big as, like, the max area ever. Russia, at one point, was this huge. They haven't caught up to, like, the greatest or the biggest of all time just yet. Huge continental war in Europe. We have the Irish taking a lot of Sweden in there. They were moving pretty deep into Finland, but now they're starting to get pushed out. I can't believe Greenland is somehow still here. That is without an alliance with the USA. The U.S. probably just doesn't seem it, like seem like it's worth it. They don't want to deal with all the chaos of Greenland. France still survives even though they're fighting all of this. Oh, is Brazil, or no, is Peru finally going to do it? Peru is really close. It's stopping now. Yeah, they need someone to like, uh, maybe get an empire going here. Then they can attack from this way. Oh boy, I thought Kazakhstan was going down for a second there. Czechia looks like it's going to be the new France. They were even crossing the English Channel for a second there. Australia has finally made it to Madagascar. Maybe they're going to start to make moves in this continent. And here goes the USA as a power in the Atlantic has collapsed, so they might might begin to fight Tunisia here soon. Tunisia's got a really interesting empire going on with the Italian peninsula, Iberia. They're also allied to big Libya. Is Russia gonna wipe out Kazakhstan? It looks like it. They're very close to the capital. They have got it. Oh, but it moves now. That's right. So now they have to get down this way. This mountain range also keeps China from going insane. I really like it because these mountain ranges would stop. This is, these are called, this cause huge impacts. Actually, Kazakhstan's actually moving into China a little bit. Also protects India. Now India and Indonesia are getting into it. I don't know why those two, wait a second, with the help of Australia down here, too. Does Australia have New Zealand? Yes, they do. Where did this Australia come from? Where's the new Russian capital? Because I don't even know. Where are they hiding this thing at? Wait, is this in... It's... It, what? It's in this part? How did you get... Your, how did you change your capital? I guess... It, I don't know. That's cool. They can do that, though. Oh, finally, the USA decides to go after Honduras. The problem is, look at the Dominican Republic taking all of Florida back. Look at how well Sierra Leone has done after being, like, uh, killed and then revived. They've managed to just survive somehow. Wait, as soon as I say that, they might die 
died. They're not in this war just yet. They have survived for a very long time. Also, uh, Oakberg, I think they're just a randomly generated nation. They've survived for a thousand years and that's for- oh. Well, maybe France will take them out right now. Here goes the USA cleaning things up. They're probably going to wipe out Honduras for good. Maybe next turn. Honduras has got some gold. Oh, not as much as the United States, though. 200,000. Yeah, they're the strongest economy. Russia really can't keep up. Russia's trying to push back Finland, but man, Finland has a stronghold in a lot of different parts of this continent. It's so hard to take out China. I mean, India has pushed China all the way out as much as they could for now. Oh, actually, they have a new border. If they want to, they can try. Finally, France is gone from South America. It actually looks like Peru is the dominant it continent per person, I don't know what you want to say. Uh, they won the continent, but the problem is if the U.S. decides to backstab them, then they're going to get kicked out. So this is actually Venezuela. So the U.S. does touch proof they want. There's actually a whole Western alliance going on, a Western Hemisphere alliance. Of course, the AI can decide to get out of alliances and attack. Finland's getting really close to having all of Europe. Sierra Leone still somehow here. They still survive. Russia's fighting two different fronts against Kazakhstan. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Finland lost a lot of things there with the help of Turkey. The U.S. cleaning up some borders a bit. I think people tried to get their independence, and now they're going after them. How did Peru get uh, the Mexico City? I don't know how Peru got that. How is Japan still allied to China? I mean, they someone needs to break that alliance at some point. Look at Peru in third place. They're like half the size, or maybe a little bit more than uh, a half behind Russia. U.S. overall still the biggest in area. If anything, I mean, I think, well, because they're allied to Turkey, they might stay at that size, maybe. China fell to fourth place. Oh, they're actually not that big at all because this huge revolt that's happening. Greenland's literally stuck in the same spot. This map's pretty ugly, but there's definitely a lot more simulations I want to bring to you in the future. Let me know what you want to see next. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023. The Polish, Lithuanian, Quinn, Commonwealth, Taylor, Portugal John, is Denver, not Balkans, good old Ryan, 244, Iowa, AKA Drew, if you don't come to Crackout Poland, I will find you in Grandpa, a fat Norway. Taylor Carroll S, Andrew Davies, Goth Girl, Jack Draven's annoying friends, Robert Rush, Anime, Drake, Ralph Wickenham, Stephen Hamster, 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 Stephen Hamster,